Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving orders of magnitude. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get into it. Question one says to state using orders of magnitude the approximate size of each of the following. So we have the atom, nucleus, proton, electron, and quark. And remember, orders of magnitude just means powers of 10. So from the notes, we saw that the size of the atom was roughly 10 to the minus 10 meters. The size of the nucleus is roughly 10 to the minus 14 meters, even smaller. And then getting even smaller, we have the size of the proton at about 10 to the minus 15 meters. The size of the electron is thought to be even smaller at less than 10 to the minus 18 meters. And lastly, the size of the quark is thought to be less than 10 to the minus 19 meters, i.e. the smallest quantity in the list here. And lastly, question two says to compare the mass of a proton to the mass of an electron in terms of orders of magnitude. And a hint here is that you can use your data sheet. Now, these are more like the kind of questions you're going to get on orders of magnitude in the exam. So from the data sheet, you can see that the mass of a proton is 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And you should also have the mass of an electron on the data sheet, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Now, in order to compare these sizes, we want to use powers of 10 to compare them. So what we want to do is take the larger number and divide it by the smaller number. So the larger number, remember, is going to have the smallest negative power, whereas the smaller number will have the biggest negative power. So if we take the mass of our proton and divide it by the mass of an electron, and then put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1,836. Now, remember, we're wanting to use powers of 10 to compare them. So we're wanting to think about rounding this number to the nearest power of 10. And hopefully you can see that this would round to the number 1,000 as the nearest powers of 10, because it's not big enough to go to the next power of 10, which would be 10,000. So because it's nowhere near 10,000, we can't round it up to 10,000. We would actually just round it down to 1,000, as in 10 to the power of 3. So this means we have a difference of about 3 orders of magnitude. So just to conclude that, we can say, therefore, the mass of a proton is 3 orders of magnitude greater than the mass of an electron. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.